Okay, let's talk how to condition the serratus anterior. Your serratus anterior muscle is responsible for keeping your shoulder blade against your rib cage during movements. It interdigitates like this with your obliques. So when people are not able to connect their obliques while performing, ex or they can't feel their obliques while performing exercises with their arms as core exercises, it's often because they lack insufficient performance of this muscle. In this stage of your core training, journey with me, you need to be able to move your shoulder blade without your neck, cervical spine, thoracic spine, upper arm, elbow, wrist, whatever, from moving. Because that movement is taking up, it's like little cheating signs. This sounds harder than it is, but if you tend to be more mobile in your joints, you do have to be more intentional about paying attention, ensuring that you're stabilized in the areas that I just described. This is the muscle that I'm trying to get you to use when you push away from the floor with your shoulder blade. You're gonna lay on your back, rib cage stacked over your pelvis in hook line position. Shoulder is flexed to 90 degrees, palm, is faced towards my other palm. I'm going to make a gentle fist and punch the ceiling. As I punch the ceiling, no movement occurs at my neck, my middle back, or at my arm. Like, no, there's no rotation. And then I control it down. As I perform this movement, there's no, like, upward or downward motion. It's just linear. So this is at 90 degrees, and then also at 130, same thing. As you return to the starting position, you don't want to pull. You just want to control it down. After you've done 15 to 20 in each of those positions, with or without weight, you're going to get it to a midpoint. So this is all the way up, this is all the way down. I'm gonna come right here and then I'm gonna draw my name really small in this position, keeping everything still except for your arm. First and last. Feel here is deep shoulder, side of ribs, and armpit region. You can do this in other positions. It doesn't have to be like this, but this is one way that you can really gauge or understand what moving your shoulder blade without your thoracic spine or everything moving means. Really pay attention to the things that I told you about the twisting of your arm, the bending of your elbow, and then also any movements of your neck and pulling.